Yeah, I heard they're making a new one. I'm uh, interested to see how it turns out, even though I don't watch many movies. If it gets decent reviews, I'll check it out. Alright, let's get into it. Spawn number nine by Image. Image Comics presents Angela, story, Neil Gaiman, art, Todd McFarlane. Dedicated to Harvey Kurtzman. You ready for this? This is great. I hope you guys come and have a seat and enjoy. Mercy! Help me! For the love of God, will no one come? Will no one save us? Hell Spawn. Identification. Delivery of Hell. See illustrations page 1131 to 1150 for basic design and variants. Is a sentient carapace which covers the Hell Spawn. Many Hellspawn are shapeshifters. Please, help me. Would you help her? Would you guys help her? Yes or no? I gotta admit I'd help her. <laughs> I'd help her. LOL. Okay. <clears throat> Getting carried away again. <laughs> Characteristics. In this manual, we shall address only Hellspawn in the worlds of the living. Hellspawn in the realms beyond are not game, and cannot be hunted unless and until a formal condition of war has been declared. Caution is always advised. Those Hellspawn in the living worlds are, however, fair game. They are the officer material that Melbolgia considers may prove worthy of high rank in the war to come. Its usual technique is to consign them to Earth with a high, although limited, supply of power. Good day, sweet maiden. You are hurt. I am hurt, my lord. But I am maiden no longer. You need help. Hunting methods. Young Hellspawn make the best sport. It is not I who needs help, my lord, but my sister. The ogre who dealt with me thus has taken her back to his cave. Great lord! Thank you, uh, come and, uh, by Alice. Great lord, my sister is a little more than a child. Where is this ogre? To the glen there, in a cave under the waterfall. Sorry, I don't do the best, uh, female voice. I'm trying my best. <laughs> Jesus. I'm trying to be as hot as I can. Firstly, they are often time disoriented, having been kept in stasis fields for five to ten years. Our opponent has found that releasing them into what is, for them, their near future, obliterates and confuses family and emotional connections. The young hellspawn are often confused and emotional, and respond to good or noble impulses as easily or more easily than they do to evil. This tendency can be exploited by any experienced hunter. My lord, why do you cover your face? I would not wish to see my face, sweet mate. Your sister, say? I also had a sister, beautiful and wise, whom I swore I would see married before I died. <sighs> and did you? I went away for many years. When I returned, my sister was indeed married, not to the man I would have chosen. Us. If we knew the future, well, what then? See, he was in hell, and then he was sent back as a hell spawn. 
Just in case you not don't know about Spawn. Because he was a bad person in his first life. Alright. Oh, right. That's the music. <laughs> okay. Secondly, and more importantly, the young Hellspawn has learned nothing about the harnessing and control of its abilities. Some of which particularly those concerning transmutation and reality adjustment. It may never fully learn or control it. It is a thing of raw but unfocused power, and an intelligent hunter can turn this to advantage. As Hellspawn get older, they also get wilder and more... Oh, wilder? And more ruthless. They also become much more careful of power expenditure, something with which young spawn are rash and reckless. Thirdly, by destroying Hellspawn, young, uh, uh, by destroying Hellspawn young, a hunter is performing a valuable service. Each Hellspawn is a potential officer in the army of Hell. The discovery and empowering of a Hellspawn takes much energy and time on the part of the Malbosia. Thus far, it has not created more than one in 50 years, and usually not more than one a century. At the point where its power reservoir is exhausted, the Earthbound Hellspawn return to the ninth level. At this point, they face the ordeal of the Dark Carcass. So he's turning away. Have you not told me your name, my lord? I no longer have a name. There. Oh, shoot. Sorry. There! That is the cave in which the ogre has my sister, my lord. He is most strong and fearsome. I also am most strong and fearsome. Shall we wait here? I just can't say strong properly. That's all. Just wait here. Those who pass become officers in the army of hell. Those who fail become food for the soldiers of hell. Either way, the power of the Malbolgia has increased. Some older Hellspawn can become quite desperate when they realize what awaits for them at the point of power depletion, and will go through quite remarkable efforts to avoid battle or any further depletion of energy. So their power is on a time limit, and when it runs up, they're bound to hell. Well, it's not on a time limit. It's like on a power limit, more like. But it's kind of like a time limit because you're constantly using it, right? So, you know, time's ticking to when it actually, you know, depletes to nothing. Anyways. I will come in with you. I know the secrets of the cavern after all. Very well. They're going behind a waterfall. It is very dark. You are a wizard! Right here, right? It's my light. Okay. No wizard, fair one. Once I was a man. A bad man. Now... I know not what I am. This cave. How much further must we go? Hunting methods. Only a hunter with plenty of time on her hands. A full arsenal and a willingness to undergo a potentially lengthy period of hardship and discomfort should even consider hunting Hellspawn. Hellspawn hunting is unlike other methods of hunting. Stalking a Hellspawn is advisable. Learn its habits. The Hellspawn, when roused, are rapid and tireless. It is wise to decoy a, uh, to, to decoy a spawn by diverting its attention. Oh, I think we've come far enough. What magic is this? No magic, little Hellspawn. At first, hard, oh, a first hard strike will often take a spawn out. Just, let's just, you know, let's just, you know, you know, let's just drink it in a bit, right? You know, let's just drink it in a 
sipping, you know, let's just drink it in a bit. Let's just drink it in a bit. And that's his power gauge right there. Five, four, seven, eight. That's his current gauge. Caution. In many young hellspawn, the carapace is more wily and vicious than the occupant. This must always be guarded against. So she swings at him. I don't know if she hits him. Is that a hit? Oh, she strikes him, and then she throws him around in some wall with his cape. Then she freaking slices him with the thing. Or is it a slice or like a... I don't know. What manner what of creature are you? What matter of creature? Oh, poor little Hellspawn. You have been hunted. Now, you'll never be a captain in the army of the Mount Bolisha. You're one more little pawn who will never become a queen. You're in the army. Haven't you ever wondered who you were meant to be fighting? Poor Hellspawn. You aren't that bright, are you? I don't understand. GG, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> I didn't say it. Oh my god, where monster? Where monster? Power. Power. Yeah, 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 yeah. See you there. How you been? I I don't want to get, you know, cuz we're right in the middle of it, but yeah. Good to see you, man. <sighs> Alright. So if I'm the carapace is you. left behind at this point, it will be in a weakened condition. And easily terminated. Then all you need to do is take your trophy back and bask in the praise and admiration of your fellow hunters. <laughs> And then takes his disc. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Holds his cape onto his lifeless shoulders. I don't know. 800 years later. 800 years later. It's like a blink of an eye. Alright. Well, she's still looking good. Her hair's a little darker. Looks like Mary Jane. <laughs> uh, what's this? Is this where he was taken to? That young one? My stomach is growling like crazy. Hey, mister. Uh, uh, he's in a trash. I think this is current spawn. Having a dream. Not a morning person, huh? I can dig it. 
Just thought you'd want to know, the cops was around again this morning. They was asking whether we'd seen uh, some guy in a big cloak. They got one of them things, you know, artist's rendition. Not a bad one at that. Yeah, this is current spawn. What did you tell them? Let's see, I said, I ain't seen nothing. Jimmy D, he said he hadn't seen nothing. Sherlock, he just belts at me like he was going to throw up. And Tricky Dick, he told me he'd seen you all right. And for a dollar, he'd tell him where. So they gave him a dollar, and he says he sees you flying over the city every morning in a giant pink Cadillac with a big green gorilla. <laughs> He told them <laughs> he thinks you nest in a Chrysler building. And Dickie, what a scream, huh? I tell you, if I ran again, uh, if, 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 sorry, if he ran again, I'd vote for him. Watergate or no Watergate. I'm grateful. Do you think they'll be back? They'll keep coming back. We'll keep covering for you. Is there anything I can do for you in return? After what the cops did to Joey? What the mob did to Freddy? Sticking it to any of them in any way we can. Hey, it's a pleasure. Now, Jack boy, don't you be so hasty. It ain't often we have an offer like that. Say, if you could create for us maybe a crate of strawberry ripple wine, I think we could consider all that settled. <laughs> I'm so smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure that I... You just have to close your eyes and concentrate, lad. Feel it deep inside yourself. Deep. 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 Inside your donger. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> 8031 uh, wait no <laughs> no not like that you do it like that you'll just lower your energy levels 8031 oh my donger's tingling right now <sighs> The trick is pulling energy from your costume. It's a neural parasite after all, but that doesn't mean you can't borrow a little energy from it in return. Obviously a demon in disguise trying to, you know, uh, influence him. Using his power. Because he knows how to do it, right? It worked. Sure it did. Hey, you know, some bums talk about Chateau Lafitte or Mouton Rothschild or that fancy stuff, but for my money, nothing compares to a good 1989 strawberry ripple. Hey, kid, you're okay. Yeah, well, thank you, mister. Count, Count Nicholas Cagliostro, at your service, Mr. Simmons. <sighs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Looky, Elf. It says in the weekly world news, you just got married again. Not me, sir. <laughs> what? Did you just call me? Sorry, what did you just call me? Because he said Mr. Simmons. Just gave it away. Because he's a demon, he's not so smart. Demons aren't smart. They're just devious. Alright. 
And the tower, there's some big tower with some kind of crosses on it. To sim oh, there's crosses on other towers too. Wow. Well, what kind of future is this? this is ultra religious. Alright, so she's standing there with her spawn. Oh, they're earrings for her now. That were holding this cape up for them are her earrings. Okay. Ding! She's going up to her, uh, her, uh, her office or something? I don't know. Is Miss Gabriel available? Oh, no, it's not. It's someone else's. Do you have an appointment? I don't need an appointment. Just tell her that Angela's here to see her. She says you should go straight in. Angela. Hello, Gabriel. You're looking wonderful. I'm looking almost the same as the last time you saw me. When you described me as a pasty-faced, runty little desk-bound bureaucrat, Obsessed with tiny details and with no prospect, prospects of promotion. Try and say that, tongue twister. Did I say that? No, I did. It was... You know, I'm not going to repeat it because it's difficult to say. Uh, I mean, why, yes, you did. And now I'm the director of Terran Affairs, and you're still a freelancer. So, this whole world is my region of responsibility. Since Raffaella was called upstairs. I know. And I'm very busy, so if you think I'm letting you get out of there and make my job any harder, you better think again. Oh, but that's exactly what I am thinking. This had better be good. It is. It's a hunting permit. I see. Put that away, Angela. Hmm. Yes, I had heard that a new hellspawn had surfaced. It's not exactly high on my list of priorities. Okay, but none of that stalking and trailing nonsense. I can't stop you from hunting, but I want this one quick and clean. <laughs> like a devil's, uh, what, advocate? I don't know, uh, helper? For the last time, I want to know how you knew I was Al Simmons. Jeez, you're a good kid, but you're really not very bright. You've got a way to go. I mean, I knew all about your costume. That didn't faze you. So I know about the Malbolgia. The what? The guy you did the deal with. You know, give me my wife back and I'll serve you forever. That guy. I see. So you know that I did a deal with the devil. You did a deal with the devil, huh? You hadn't even stopped to think about which one? Which one? There is only one. The devil. You really don't get it. Their devil gave them power and wealth and love and fame. Everything they'd ever won. Then he collected. And they have to be bums in alleyways for the next however long. Look, Sonny, there's a lot you don't understand about what's been happening to you. L listen, kid, half the guys in this alley did a deal with the devil at some point. Excuse me. Did, did, did. Can we talk? Huh? Who are you? You can call me Angela. Look, Angela. You don't mind, I'm kind of busy right now, and I've got a lot on my mind. I know, that's how I got this close. Shiva, Shiva! Shiva, Shiva! Shiva, Shiva! Shiva! Right?
All right. Uh, so she should see you. For my boobies, I guess. I don't know what she's doing. Shooting lasers from her boobs? I don't know what she's doing there. I missed him. Just missed his donger. Hey, lady. I don't want to hurt you. I know. I don't want to hurt you either. I want to destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's just, uh, Mr. Fantastic. He's turned into Mr. Fantastic right now, isn't he? Oh, and now, uh, then the human torch, and now a puddle of mud. All right. She's standing over him. <gasps> oh, he reaches out in the puddle of mud. Pulls her under. Oh, we can annihilate it. All right, kids, invert your eyes. Except for me. Uh. Oh, and he's under. They're under in his. Uh, I don't know. His puddle of mud. <laughs> and he's got. Oh, wow. What's going on here? This is crazy. And his gnashing his teeth. He's got a perfect dench. Like. Like dental work. Look at that. Sidepo uh, afforded him perfect teeth. Out of all of his terrible looks. He used his power to make him nice. Please. I can't. Please. Oops. Is he letting her go? Right there? Or is he just seeing the, uh, seeing the uh, spawn things on her earrings? I don't know what he's doing there. I think he's letting go. I don't know. And then she shoots out, obviously. <laughs> like a popsicle. A flying popsicle. Like what it's like, you know. And then he's swimming out of his own mud, his own being. Hey Simmons, that was pretty impressive. You don't often see an angel take off like a bat out of hell. <laughs> Get it? He's looking at him. Like that was an angel, but she tried to kill me. Like I said, there's a lot you don't know. She dropped this. Put that down. Don't touch it. But what is it? What does it do? There's some kind of button on the side. Click. Shh. I said don't. Time up! Time up! Time's over! You're done! Al Simmons is done! Hey guys! I'm out of here! Pity Simmons showed potential. He could have been the one. Next, Dave Cerebus Sim. So what'd you think? Let's check the uh, comments. Can't really read them without. Why was Elvis clearly in the background page 15 pound to him? Why was Richard Nixon now a hobo known as Dicky Tricky? Their deal with the devil ended? You know what 
Uh, Dr. Doom says, holy shit, Angela Pre-Marvel, P.S. Nice ass. <laughs> the Lord Ominous says, naturally, Gaiman doles out the best issues so far. Oh my god, in the car replies, next one is better. So the question is, do we do the next issue or not? It, not tonight, next stream. Do we do the next issue? He says the next one's better. And it's a whole different story. Like, sort of. This is a pretty good issue. Vinny SD says, that old man is really mysterious. I wonder who he is. Angela finally appeared. I don't know much about her in Spawn, but I read most of her comics since her joined the Marvel Universe. Since spirit and knowledge of Spawn and Hell technology, I'm sure that hobo got, has got to be God. Uh, I don't know. Is he God? Be Cogliostro? No. Yeah, exactly. I didn't think so. The Valentine says, Damn, this issue was so great. So it begins. Bobby says, I'm new to the comic and comics in general, and I'm curious, who is Mural Man? Which are the comics about him? No, Miracle, he meant to say. Horace says, uh, Good things about comics is that you're allowed to enjoy them regardless of what the wannabe comic scholars have to say about it. Do your best to enjoy what you like, but do check Miracle Man, you won't regret it. Really? I'll have to check it out because I've never checked out Miracle Man. I don't know if anyone else has. But yeah. Alright. Sweet. Oh. That's that. That's, uh. Spawn number nine right here. <laughs>